I'm Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yosha, Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yosha, Bashem, Raka, Kodash. Hey, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled The Biggest Token of Charity. Lord will, you are edified. I'm Abaya and and all right and hey we just going to go in the spirit all right bro all right this is uh john 21 mm -hmm. so 15. Mm -hmm. so when they had dined yeah i was just saying to simon peter simon son of jonas love that love is that be more than these um, and he said to him yeah lord you know that i love thee and he, and he said to him feed my lambs mm -hmm. verse 16. And he said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, love is not me. And he said to him, Yea, hey, Lord, you know I love thee. Said, I know that I love thee. And he said to me, Feed my sheep. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. And he said to me the third time, said to him to the third time, Simon, Simon, son of Jonas, love is not me. Love is not me. Peter was grieved. Because he said unto him the third time, Love is thy me. And he said to him, Lord, thou knows all things, and thou knows that I love thee. And Yahshua said to him, Feed my sheep. Now we see the importance of feeding the sheep of Yahweh Shah. All right. And Yahweh Shah stated this three times to Peter. Now, if you can receive this in the spirit, three is an extremely spiritual number which means a confirmation and also this is a a form of conditioning okay righteous mk ultra right however the point of this lesson is going into charity and charity is going into brotherly love and the biggest token of charity is what teaching and not giving up your money or your resources from a carnal standpoint. Now, that is good as well. But when it comes to teaching, this is the biggest token of brotherly love. Mm -hmm. All right? Y'all want to add? I got from Edelman Online. Go ahead, bro. For charity says, uh, benevolence for the poor. Also, Christian love in its highest manifestation. Ooh, read that again, bro. Benevolence for the poor. Right. Who's the poor? Mm -hmm. Israelites. Hey, get the poor, bro. Get the poor who are Israelites. Right. And at this time frame, going into the elect. Mm -hmm. Okay? Go ahead, bro. All right, this is, um, starting with the first... I can get this in Isaiah 61 and 1. Hold on, bro. Let me uh, go to it too, okay? All right. All right. Isaiah chapter what, bro? 61 verse 1. All right. Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 1. Go ahead, my brother. The Spirit of the Lord Yahweh is upon me because the Lord Yahweh anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. The gospel. Yeah. All right. Which means also what? The news. Yep. All right. Go ahead, bro. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, mm -hmm. to proclaim liberty to the captives, mm -hmm. and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. The opening of the prison, meaning what? Your mind. Right? Your mind. This is the biggest token of charity. The biggest token of brotherly love is preaching good tidings unto the meek. Right? Yep. Going into the elect. Of Israel, you so-called Negroes, you so-called Hispanics, and you so-called Native Americans, based on the lineage of your fathers. Okay. Anything else, my brother? All right. Um, so going back to charity from Animal Online, mm -hmm. it says benevolence for the poor. Mm -hmm. Also, Christian love in its highest manifestation. Mashiachim love. Mashiachim love. All right, go ahead, bro. Yep, and it says a uh, compassion. Mm -hmm. Mercy, mm -hmm. alms, mm -hmm. charitable foundation. Mm -hmm. Now, we see the importance of teaching. We must equate this to teaching because through teaching, you learn how to do what? Be a good brother, mm -hmm. right? It's not your resources. It's the, the, the releasing, meaning in the art of teaching, um, this good news, this gospel to the elect. Yep. All right? 
Y'all yeah. got something? Yeah. Want to bring your point up? Yeah. Go ahead, bring your point yeah. up, bro. I got, two, I got two accounts. Okay. Um, let me go to uh, Matthew 25. All right, let me go to that. Matthew chapter 25. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. What verse, bro, bro? Um, 34. All right, Matthew chapter 25 and 34. You want me to read? You break no, it down? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, then, then she had the, so like, the Matthew 25 and 34. Mm -hmm. Then she had the king sent to them on the right hand. Mm -hmm. On his right hand. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Come ye, come ye bless my father and have the kingdom prepared for you mm -hmm. for the foundation of the world. Right. For the 35. That's right. For, 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 like, for I was hungry. You gave me meat. For hours and hunger, and you gave me meat. This is symbolic for what? Teaching. Mm -hmm. Teaching. Right? Go ahead. I was thirsty. Hey, and to, um, to harp on that, is not Yahweh Shah characterized as the, uh, the lamb, lamb without blemish? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, Go ahead, my brother. Hebrews 5 and 12. <laughs> for when, for the time, you ought to be teachers... You have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of Yahweh by Shem El Rishai, and are become such as have need of milk and not a strong meat. Mm -hmm. These are the first principles. Mm -hmm. All right. So in order to understand Yahweh by Shem Shah, we have to teach. Mm -hmm. And through the process of teaching, what happens at the allotted time when Yahweh Shah is formed in you, then you go out and teach others. This is the highest form of being charitable mm -hmm. and not your fucking resources. It's like, and, and, and he said, form milk. Mm -hmm. and, and you got to start with brothers. You can't come, brother, with all of them heavy scriptures. Like, like, you can't go deep in the street. You got to start milk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, like saying, basically, like, we didn't use like 12 tries. Mm -hmm. You got that, 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 that milk. When in, like, a baby, we, we babes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and we, we babes. Mm -hmm. and, and that meat is more, more brothers than many when you get hired in the, in the, in the truth. Like yeah. reincarnation. Yeah. Would be me. But the yeah. color of Yahweh yeah. and Yahweh Shah. That's, that's who milk. your tribe yeah. is. That's milk. Right? Let's back you up. Verse 13. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. Meaning what? They have to be taught. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. as a child, you have to be taught what is right, what is wrong. That's right. Right? And what this is, is brotherly love. Yep. Yeah. That's right. That's <laughs> charity right there. That's, this is charity. <laughs> For he is a baby. He's a baby. You're a baby. I ain't no way I'm feeding my motherfucking baby a motherfucking state. Yeah. My little baby, I ain't got no baby. I can't right. feed my baby on damn state. That's right. My, my baby will choke on my baby die. Mm -hmm. And same you bring you bring out bring you bring try to put all the all the mission to a brother that don't know going on. Either he gon' either hate the truth or just say, man, I can't I can't I, I can't get this. He yeah. gonna fade it out. He gonna fade out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. That's right. right. That's Verse right. 14. But strong meat belonging to them that are full of age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised. Meaning to... what? Through experience. Mm -hmm. right. Through experience. Yeah. And this is how you come to the point where you can start chewing on the meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. But you cannot get to the meat without without not going through the milk phase. That's right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like babies, like, you feed they what? Applesauce. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's you know. That's it. That, 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 that's some yeah. baby like they collect shit that they cut it off really, really. Right. Much. That's what it is. Right. You can't feed on. You can't feed on baby no motherfucking yeah. lamb. Oh, lamb. Yeah, because when you first come in the truth, you don't have no spiritual teeth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. You, you don't know what the fuck going on. That's right. Go so basically they feed you like a baby, like yeah. you, you you know we a baby. Mm -hmm. You a fake baby. Your mama hold a bottle for you. Mm -hmm. right, right. You can't hold a bottle yourself. Right, right. And that's how it's in the truth. And so may I ask? We begin. That's a lot. Go ahead. No, no, no. So no. may I ask? Is this not brotherly love? Brotherly love. Mm -hmm. All right, teaching a brother during that baby phase, then that toddler phase, mm -hmm. then that um, young teen phase, mm -hmm. adolescence, mm -hmm. and then that uh, then he becomes what a man. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It says, but strong meat belonging to them that are full age. Even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised mm -hmm. to discern both good and evil. And that comes with experience. Right. Yeah, All right? Go ahead, bro. Hey, back in uh, Matthew 25 and um, 35. Mm -hmm. When I was hungry, they gave me meat. In the form of teaching. And I was thirsty, they gave me drink. In the form of teaching. I was strained, they took me in. In the form of teaching. So when brothers come to these videos, our videos, beginning with the Apostles of a Great Millstone, these are examples. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Our brothers being hungry and we gave them food. 
Mm-hmm. Brothers, brothers that needed shelter, and we gave them a place to reside. Mm-hmm. Through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem mm-hmm. Hashem, this is the biggest token of being charitable, is, which uh-huh. is brotherly love. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, bro. Verse 6. Mm-hmm. Naked, you clothed me. That's right. And I was sick, you visited me. In the form of teaching. Mm-hmm. I was in prison, you came unto me. Mm-hmm. I want to say, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna say about, the, about the prison. Because I know it's... It's, it's it's some Jake in prison. You know how you know you know everything now is different now. Mm-hmm. J B get J B get goddamn cell phone. Man, I seen y'all seen Jake had a had a, had a, had a whole goddamn uh <laughs> and like they were cooking out. Yeah, they were grilling them. They were grilling them. Mm-hmm. So so you know they got phones in them, and you know some some brother listen to the truth and the truth in 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 in, in a prison. Mm-hmm. Now, now I'm saying like now I'm just saying how it is though. So, so the, the, word, the word was spread, and the brother like, man, they didn't know who they was, but we came to why they, why they was in prison through mm-hmm. the word of Yahweh Shah. That's it. They through, 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 through this phone. Right. They got phones. Right, right, right. And then from a, a symbolic standpoint, you know what I'm saying, when you think about it, you know, we were all prisoners. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Before we was un, un well, re- released through the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you was enslaved to um, that old man. Yep. But through the spirit of Yahweh Shem al basically through the art of teaching, which is the highest form of brotherly love, we have been released. We are finished serving that being. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's from a spiritual sense. Now, remember, the truth is all, it's 100% spiritual, then it's manifested in the flesh. I got you. Go ahead, bro. Isaiah 42 and 7. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, 6. It Go says, ahead. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, mm-hmm. and will hold thy hand, and will keep thee. So, if we're saying, uh, hey, start over, bro. Okay. Uh-huh. Isaiah 42 and 6. I, the Lord, Yahweh, have called thee in righteousness. Right. So, if he called us in righteousness, can we not say that we came out those prison houses mm-hmm. of that bullshit-ass mm-hmm. mental state? Yeah. Before being born again, yep. a Shaqua priest or elder Shaqua, you always call it what? That spiritual brainwashing. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, bro. Right. It will hold thy hand. It will keep thee. Right. It will give thee for a covenant of the people. So if he's holding your hand, this is brother love, mm-hmm. right? Through what? The prophets. Through the apostles teaching us, we're teaching others. So the apostles are holding our hands as we're holding other mm-hmm. individuals' hands going into the elect. Yep. Go ahead, bro. It says, It will give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, mm-hmm. to open the blind eyes, mm-hmm. to bring out the prisoners from the prison. This is all spiritual, right? Prison. The prison house is your mind, mm-hmm. right? Go ahead, bro. And them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. That's it. That's it. So that's why we teach Yahweh Shai to the elect, all right? Because this is the highest form of brotherly love. If you want to tell me, you know what I'm saying, you love me, or if you want to show me you love me, teach me Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Yeah. Teach me Yahweh Shah. Yeah. I don't want your fucking money. Because at the end of the day, money can't do nothing for me, bro. Go ahead. Because you know, this, I don't know what's it. It's true. So like, like, and the truth should set you free. That's right. If, if, if you teach if you're teaching Yahweh Shah, you got to get you, man. Hey, you, 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 you get that. You free. Yeah, get it it's for John him. It's 8 and uh, 32. And it says, let's we'll start at 31. Right. Then say, how shout to those Jews which believed on him. If you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And that's why you got to continue in, in the word of Yahweh by Shemesh. Mm-hmm. Hey, you got to continue what you've been taught. Right. Not not out your fucking feelings. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of motherfuckers in their feelings all motherfucking day long. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I'm in my feelings right now. That's it. But but it's, 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 it's I'm going off. Right. Right, because I'm in my field, but if you, if you're going off when you mean how you feel like you start changing the doctrine, right? So that's your problem. You start right. changing the doctrine. Oh, yeah, I'm shy. All right, go ahead. Bro. Hey, can I say something, bro? Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with having emotion, yeah, right? Because you're gonna get frustrated. You're gonna be yeah. happy. You're gonna be excited. You're gonna be sad. But at the same time, friend, like you're saying, we don't let these emotions, you know, what I'm saying, sidetrack us. Yeah, making it making it where everything is fucking personal. Yeah. Plus, we're passionate about this. Yeah. That's it. So, of course, emotion's going to come in this. Yeah. That's it. Yep. So, verse 32, and you should know the truth, and the truth should make you free. You should know the truth. Because we've been, we, we, we've been preaching house in our head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've been, we've been lied to all our, all our life. We didn't know who the fuck we were, who we were. All we knew, we, 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 we was a, 
some 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 slave came on, on slave ship, <laughs> and and the white people got everything, mm-hmm. and, 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 and we were just so, we were just so lost, mm-hmm. you know we we we, 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 we were so far gone yep. from this truth. Mm-hmm. The scripture said, "If you, what's what is it one, one time, bro? What's it going to uh, uh, Verse uh, thirty two again, back in John eight, and you should know the truth, and the truth should make you free. And guess what? And the truth should make you free. That's right. I, mean, I watched that video. About like five, maybe seven years ago, this old, this old object lady. She said, she found, she found out about Yahweh Shai. She found out who she was. Guess what? You know what she said? I'm free now. That's you it. Know? Pretty much, she's liberated now. She's liberated. Spirit. That's right. That's it. It's about Yahweh Shai giving us the Holy Spirit. That's, That's right. it. So, so hey, I'm, I'm, I'm like on, uh, like on train day. <laughs> you can kill me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, I'm still motherfucking winning. Yeah. You think about it, like everything starts out spiritual too. That's right. Like first we get liberated, liberated, you know, in the spirit. You know, now we got the new minds, the new creatures in Yahweh Shah. Right. You know, we've been conformed to more of his image. Mm-hmm. Then physically, we're going to get liberated, Lord willing. Our body's going to be fashioned right. like Yahweh Shah. That's, That's right. it. You know? That's right. Because so you go to the word um, free, it goes into to uh, dominion of sin. Mm. And what's the ultimate sin that we're in? These chains of darkness. That's it. Right? That's it. Mm. Right, and you got to go back to that one, bro. Yeah. Matthew 25 and 36. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to go back. Uh, I, Matthew 25 and 36. Mm-hmm. Naked, you clothed me. I was sick, you visited me. Mm-hmm. I was prison, and you came to came unto me. Again, this is the highest token of brotherly love. Right. Go ahead, bro. Verse 37. They should the they should have righteous answered him and said, Lord, we saw we saw when the hunger you fed thee. Oh thirsty, you give you drink, mm-hmm. give you drinks. So mm-hmm. like, verse thirty eight. They saw saw we the so like, when you saw we the a stranger and you look at the end or naked and clothed thee. See right now they're not thinking spiritual. Right. You see that? Mm-hmm. They're thinking from a carnal standpoint. Yeah. A carnal standpoint. Go ahead. Verse 39. And we, we saw we the sick or in prison, you came unto thee. Mm-hmm. Or oh, when saw we you sick or in prison and came, came unto, unto you. Thee. That's right. Uh-huh. Uh, then uh, verse 40. And the king answered, and the, then the king shall answer and say unto them, Brother, I said to you, as much as ye have done unto until one of these, it's like until one of the of the less of these, my brother, he should have done unto me. Right, that's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. It is all spiritual, right? Yeah. Now, in essence, yeah, it's good to do this from a carnal standpoint, but it's always, it's always best to go in the spirit, cause the spirit is higher than the flesh any day, any time. And this parable is in the form of what? Symbolic measures in the form of teaching. That's it. You think about like in the Old Testament, like everything was like a foreshadowing thing. So you have a shot to come. Mm-hmm. You always start off like a physical way. That's it. Then mm-hmm. It was like symbolic for you. How was shot? You know what I'm saying? The spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. And Matthew 25 and verse 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, depart from me, you curse into everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. For I was in hunger and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. I was stranger and you took me not in naked and you clothed me not sick and in prison and you visit me not and, and that's why the Lord gonna deal with these fucking preachers mm-hmm. that's right that's why the Lord gonna deal with these fucking that's preachers that's it that's it cause they ain't telling they ain't telling them about the, about the MOTB right they ain't telling them about what about the cum jack of trouble right they ain't telling them shit about and, to go down and can I ask y'all a question and when was your house shy just walking around here giving bags of money mm-hmm. In the scriptures, I, I I didn't I haven't read that yet. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's talk about the riches. You know, Romans eleven thirty three. That's right. The depth of the riches in the Most High. Mm-hmm. You know, let's talk about His knowledge. That's right. You got your ties one. Uh, Ezekiel thirty four and two. So the man prophesied against the shepherds of Israel. Mm-hmm. Prophesied said unto them, Thus said the Lord Yahweh unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Ye eat the fat and ye clothe you with the wool. You kill them that are fed, but you feed the flock. You, but you feed not the flock. That's right. Verse 4. The disease have you not strengthened, neither have you healed that which was sick. Teaching. <laughs> this is going into teaching, man. 
Right? This is what he's saying. But what was they doing? These niggas is coming up. Yeah, right. They're making money yeah. and they're feeding themselves. Yeah. But at the same time frame, when it comes to showing true brotherly love, yeah. they're not fucking doing they're that. They're being those dumb dogs. That's it, bro. Because, man, they're not, man, like I said, like, the deal are done, I guess what they Man, that person ain't, 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 ain't about that. Man, because they, it's all about money. This is all about money, you know. They, they, they ain't really healing the people. Like, like, and they preaching posterity doctrine. Oh, mm-hmm. you you gonna get this uh this, this, this big house, you gonna get a nice job. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell the people, if you don't get right with your house about your shine, mm-hmm. the Lord come back to destroy you. Not warning them about Jacob's trouble. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You know you, about the famine. That's right. Our temptations. Our temptations. Yeah. You know, the World War Three, Like, all these things, our people need to be warned of. That's man. right, bro. Like That's it, it says in Ezekiel, the third chapter, that he made us a watchman to the house of Israel. And to warn his people. To warn them. So, guess what? You, you, you're going... And guess what? You got to talk about the good and the bad. That's you, right. you, you Like, that's death. Yeah. Because yeah. if you don't do it, you, you're going gonna, gonna, to... Blood going to be on your hands. It, That's it. So... That's it. All right, so back That's in Ezekiel it. 34 and 4. That's right. The disease have you not strengthened, mm-hmm. neither have you healed that which was sick, mm-hmm. neither have you bound up that which was broken, mm-hmm. neither have you brought again that which was driven away, mm-hmm. neither have you sought that which was lost, yeah. but with force and with cruelty have you ruled So them. you niggas ain't teaching, right? You're not showing brotherly love, mm-hmm. right? Go ahead. And they were scattered because there's no shepherd. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field. Right, devour. Yeah. The bowers. Right. Oh, my, sp- oh, my go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go you ahead. think our people, you know, they're sheep. That's right. So they can get easily, you know, disassembled. That's man. right. And, you know, sheep follow anything, <laughs> anywhere. Yeah. You know, there's... Um, Judas goats. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. They're docile animals. That's right. And it says... um uh, verse 5, and they were scattered because there's no shepherd, and they became meat to all the beasts of the field mm-hmm. where they were scattered. Continue. My sheep wandered through all the mountains mm-hmm. and upon every high hill. Going through these different philosophies. <laughs> you, they believe in Christianity, Baptist, the American dream, going to college. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, he said, that's, Go why ahead. They, that's why they, I said 30. Woe them, woe them, they trust in Egypt. That's it. That's, right. they all, that's all they about. Yeah. They That's right. They trust in, in everything except Yah Bashem Shah. That's right. That's right. And you, man, I'm telling you, man, the last night, bro, that video, bro, I, I know I said that, because I know I said about that, because I really don't give a fuck, really, to be honest with you, though. That's right. Because our people, our people, it, our people just want to know the truth. But it's just like, no truth, and you, and you set you free. Well, it was some of them, do. Yeah, yeah, some mm-hmm. of them. Some, some, some of them. Not, Going not to the elect. Yeah, yeah, the elect, do. You know what I'm saying? But so, so but you can. And how, how they come in towards the people, they get rich. Mm-hmm. They get fat. That's right. Yeah. Ephesians 4 and 14. Hold on, bro. I'm go over the word with you. All right, I got you, bro. That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, carry away. Weight. Carry about with every way in the doctrine. That's what happens. Yep. You, know, yep. you believe in one thing one minute, you believe in something else the next minute. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead, bro. By the slight of men. The craftiness. Yep. Going to the, the teachings of men. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. And cunning craftiness. Right. Whereby they lie and wait to deceive. And that's the point. That's right. That's the point. Because at the end of the day, you got uh Israel, so-called Israelite leaders. And what are what are they doing? They're not showing brotherly love. They're actually doing the bidding of Esau, mm-hmm. keeping you sleep. That's right. Go ahead, bro. So you want that back in Ezekiel 34? Yeah, go on and finish it up. All right, so back in Ezekiel 34 and 6. And it says, My sheep wandered through all the mountains and mm-hmm. upon every high hill. Mm-hmm. Yea, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth. That's it. And none did search or seek after them. And that's it. That's it. And so if none is not searching or seeking after them, then brotherly love is not being exercised. That's right. Now, we know this happened. Uh, for a period of time, but now we are in the time frame to teach, yep. you know, to to basically show brotherly love. Okay. No, you want to go? Yeah. Okay. Go on. All right. All right. This uh, Acts eight, and I'll uh, start at verse twenty-seven, and it says, uh, "So I'm going to start at verse twenty-six." And it says, And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem to Gaza, which is desert. Mm-hmm. And he rose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, mm-hmm. who had the charge of all her treasure, 
and had come to Jerusalem for to worship. Mm -hmm. Verse 28, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the mm -hmm. prophet. That's right. Then a spirit said unto Philip, go near and join thyself to this chariot. Mm -hmm. And Philip read thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, understandest thou what thou readest? Continue. Verse 31, and he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Mm -hmm. and you go to the word guide in the Greek. <laughs> It's going to be Strong's G 3594 Hadegea Hadegea. Just to get to the point, it says to be a God, lead on one's way to God. Mm -hmm. And right here in the Strong's definition, it says to show the way. That's right. So, how do you show the way? You get John 14 and 6. All right, John 14 and 6. Yeah, I shall say to him, and the way, the truth, the life. No man ain't come to the Father but by me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. And this is the highest form of brotherly love. This is the biggest token of being charitable. Yep. Right? They, 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 that's why, why you have shot on Peter. Mm -hmm. feed, my, feed my sheep, feed my lamb, feed my flock. Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, he's the way, the truth. The, like, basically, he's the whole book. So, right. you got your house shot is. It, it is the the way to get the Yahweh by some shot. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you gotta teach Yahweh shot. You got you got to teach him. Mm -hmm. Cause ain't no way you you like get like say give a give a, a bum or get some your your, your uh, yeah be cheered on. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gonna give you this. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna give you five dollars. Yeah, I'm, I go uh, and that's how, how, how you know that that's not right though. Say you can. I'm, I'm gonna say, bum, not a bum. Say, buy some food. I don't want no food. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. Give me the money so I can go buy this bullshit. No, mm -hmm. we, we, hey, hey, we, we feed with this, 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 uh, this word. That's right. We feed with the word. Got you, times. So, Ecclesiasticus twelve and one. When thou would do good, know to whom thou doest. Mm -hmm. right. So shall thou be thanked for thy benefits. Do good to the godly man, Ooh. and thou shalt find a recompense. That's right. And if not from him, yet from the most high. That's right. A godly man. Do good to godly man. That's right. You, man, like and it, it's true, like I said, don't 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 get this the this word to to, to uh, swine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't cast your pearls cast your which is the truth before swine. That's right. Unclean That's niggas. Right. So man, so it said do good to the <laughs> godly people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, don't 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 can't teach everybody the word. Uh -huh. Teach everybody in the world about this. That's right. Because they'll get it. Oh no, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's Y'all talking crap, mm -hmm. y'all blah, blah, blah. Speed out and keep on going. That's it. So you only, you, you only do good, you only do good to, for, for the godly, really. That's right. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. There can no good come to him that is always occupying evil, nor to him that giving no alms. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Give Ooh. to the godly man and help not a sinner. Right? And to back you up, Toby 2 and 1. Now, when I was come home again, and my wife Anna was restored unto me with my son Tobias in the Feast of Pentecost, which is the holy feast of the seven weeks, there was a good dinner prepared me, in the which I sat down to eat. Verse 2. And when I saw abundance of meat, I said to my son, Go and bring what poor man so like him. Go and bring what Poor man, so ever you shall find out of our brethren, who is mindful of the Lord, mm -hmm. and lo, I tarry for you. So basically, hey, do do good to a righteous man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, again, go and bring what poor man, so ever you shall find out of our brethren, who is mindful of the Lord. You can't get around that. And, 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 and people like, you should, you should do good to everybody. You can't do good to everybody. You, man, you, you can't do good to everybody. That shit don't work. No. I'm telling you what don't work, man. Hey, this doctrine is referred to as uh, the good news. Yeah. So it's good news for everybody? No. No. Is this word, is, is it, uh, you know, beneficial to two-thirds of our people? No. Hell These no. other nations? No. Hell so no. they can't receive the good news. Right. And that good news for the two-thirds is for their judgment, yeah. which is going to lead to their deaths. That's right. Yeah. Right? Hey, last one, bro. This is... Uh, 
John 15 and 12. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Verse 13. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And we're doing this symbolic yeah. by publishing videos, going out there on the highways and the byways, making exercising, our making our bodies yeah. um, a living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And this is exercising brotherly love. Because yeah. we're putting our lives on the line, hey, let's, beginning with the apostles of Great Mills. We're standing in great boldness. Stand up against the evil dude. Yeah. I mean, look, look, look. Yeah. Man. And charity uh, goes into agape, mm -hmm. which means brotherly love. And when it comes to brotherly love, there is no biggest, there is no bigger token than the art of teaching. Mm -hmm. Y'all got something y'all want to add? It's uh, Colossians three and fourteen. Close out. Okay. And it says, I can read it for you. Okay. Hey, this is Colossians three and fourteen. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And the perfectness go to that spiritual and moral perfection. Mm -hmm. And the ultimate way is by coming to this knowledge and you sharing it with fellow Akim that you'll be able to receive this word. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. Reach one, teach one. That's it. That's, it. You know? That's the game. You, 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 have, you have the one that is doing the will of Yahweh by Yeah. I can't help a motherfucking nigga be. So why am why I going to do some? Niggas still come in and dodge well, mm -hmm. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. Now, if, 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 if the brother like, man, we ain't doing this. No. I hate you all day long. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you bring, you bring the truth to some brother and they still come in and dodge You waste your motherfucking time. On That's motherfucking, it. You, so why So why do it, though? And then you're going against the scripture. That's right. The scripture's telling you don't do it. Don't do it. So who, are, who the fuck are you <laughs> yeah. trying to do it anyway? Yeah. Right? All right, hey, Lord will, y'all were edified, all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, y'all were shot, by Hashem, Kakadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.